Hi everyone, welcome again to another episode of Sit On This with Z and Z, Connie and Corey. We hope you have been enjoying our podcast so far. So Connie, what's been going on with you? I know so much to talk about. I don't know. Uh-oh. But let me start with the most important item. Okay. Is our drink of the day. This is another Verde Verde. But this one is an ice rosé, magnificent. Ooh. And the reason why we're doing this is because we did, we celebrating the Ice Man. Ah. This is his Corey's upcoming birthday this yes. year, and we're here to celebrate it with the Ice. Is. Yes, fifty. Uh-huh. So, Connie, what did you do this weekend? Well, I had the most amazing experience. Let me just say, I have never been to a kindergarten graduation that looked like a Broadway play. So, let me just say. I just want to shout out my youngest grandchild, Hudson Foy. Oh, Amazing. Oh. He had about five trophies. Oh. And let me just say this. I'm going to be brief about it, y'all. But oh, he's adorable. I just want to share. Uh, <coughs> the thing that I want to share, he went to One Step Ahead program. Her name is Miss Marlene Mack. She's in East Armist, New Jersey. This woman is amazing. What she gives these children over the years is a foundation that you can't get anyplace else. I mean, these kids could do their ABCs backwards. Uh, go figure, okay? So, Miss Molly Mack, we shout you out. We speak your name. We are a legend. A legend to these kids. She's done an amazing job. She's also getting ready to open up another school at the Gateway in Jersey. Okay. So, you all can always look up the One Step Ahead program. Once again, with Molly Mack, and I, think, I can vouch for that. And it's um, One Step Ahead Learning Center dot com. I'll put that at the end of our video or at the um, bottom of Amazing. the link. It's in Newark, and it's One Step Ahead, and it's um, a great um, starting pool. Okay. We got to get our kids educated. And if, if we're speaking out here in Manhattan, but we also shouting out to Jersey because we have family and friends there. So go look it up. I'm telling you, it's the place to be. Well, Cardi, before we get started, I we got it our first email and um i was really kind of taken aback because i didn't know how to answer it so i needed to talk to you about it what did he say so this person is dating someone it was a female writer um she said it was anonymous but she um slept with her boyfriend's cousin but she didn't know at the time like there was a previous relationship and they, she went to a barbecue, June Z. <laughs> and she was there. She didn't know what to do. Should she tell her partner that she had a previous relationship? She, she mentioned that it was more sexual. So would you tell your partner, your current partner, or it could be a friend, it could be a cousin. It could, like say, for I met somebody, and then he said, oh, this is my best friend. Now I slept with the best friend. Do you tell the best friend? Do you tell the person? I think it would be best to do so. Because you know how people roll? All of a sudden, the person could be like, you know, the person that you slept with could be angry. You know, when you see harmony in a relationship, and you see people getting along well, you could be like, well, damn, I dealt with that. I could have had that. No, you could. Right, well, right. So, you know. I think it's best that she she tells yeah, for me. And um, it was not, it's not like she's dealing with him now. It was an undercover thing. No, it was a long ago thing. But I think she was more concerned that she didn't say anything at the barber. So at I, the moment. At the I moment. Feel you, but I, I don't know. What's I feel name? you, honey. I see, I see where she's coming from. Because it's like, now he's going to say, well, why you didn't say something then? It's all matter, baby. Express yourself. Tell him, you know what? I, I was thrown back. I, I didn't know what to do. And you know, the way I feel about you and our relationship, I don't want to lose that. But I think it's best I come out and tell you now. Mm-hmm. Which I would have did then, but I mean, so much is going, you're at a barbecue. Sometimes right. that's not the time to right. talk about it. So tell them now, just explain, you know. Well, see, me and my friends at one time, we had a pack that we did not, I call it double dip. I don't double dip, you know, with you slept with or you had a relationship with someone, you don't date them. They're off the list. And so what happened, I was dating somebody and it was a gay pride or whatever. We went to Queens and the boyfriend at the time, we I was we had been dating for about six, seven months and it was time to meet my friends. And so I said hi, you know, to my friend and, and I said, Oh, this is such and such and they were like, Jim his name was Jim at the time, he was grabbing my arm and he was like, 
I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. I'm like, calm down. And then he said, I, 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 I'm, me and your friend went on a date, but nothing happened, nothing happened. Within 30 minutes, my friend <laughs> pulled me as I was like, I need to talk. I said, I already know. Oh, okay. I said, so well. It's, it's already out there. You know? Right. But I said, well, what are you, are you okay with it? Um, because we did have that agreement, but he said they had already, they only went on one date, they, they weren't compatible, and they hadn't even slept together. Right. So I pursued on in that relationship. And did you all continue with your relationship? Yes, we had a... It didn't break you up? No, but it was weird at first, but I tried to stay calm, but the way they reacted, it was kind of like, oh my God, you mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. But because I feel like friends, exes, or, or it happens, friends, but mean, it happens, it's it a small happens. world. But I would say for me, I would have a problem if I was dating someone and they slept with one of my cousins. So you're, you're a standard person. You're a double standard. So you, you couldn't handle it, but you wanted somebody to handle it for you. That's what he okay, said. Okay, well, yeah. I don't okay. know if you were the anonymous person was that said this out to us, but I mean, double standard goes a long way. I'm not going to lie, it goes for me sometimes. It's happened to me in my life in relationships as well. But don't go by that. Um, I hope the person that you want to tell about this is not a double standard person. And that they'll accept <laughs> the fact that you're saying this, you know, I, I, somebody that, you know, knew a while, it might have just been a session. Sometimes people have one night stand, baby. Don't let that stress you out. The person that you're with now, you all got something going on, go for it. Be honest about it and go for it. It's hard to find somebody you can get along with and stay with. It. So, yeah, well, that's a good so, point, Connie. Yeah, just, I mean, uh, honesty is the best policy. I, I mean, obviously, like Connie said, I think it depends on the moment. Um, you know, it might not have been the right moment at a barbecue with family and no, friends, and then it becomes a drama because then everybody yeah, starts whispering, yeah. and then it becomes a big deal. But I think by the time you uh, watch this, you should have told by now. But if not, <laughs> you running out of time, girl. You need to do oh, doing yeah. something. <laughs> You need to be doing something. So Connie and I were talking off um, off backstage, and we were trying to figure out some topics to talk about. And she was came up with a very interesting topic that I think everybody should hear. So Connie, this conversation about have great women should always have a no, game no, no, no. Yeah, I, did I, just let me give a little. Yeah, yeah. Let me just say, I met a young lady earlier today. Shout out to the liquor store. We in our community, we go to a liquor store on Lenox Avenue. That's the last step up between 100 and what? 133rd and 134th. Yeah. On the downtown side. Cheers to you guys. Um, thanks for always being there so we can get what we need for our episode. So I met a young lady, she was in there. She was just telling this gentleman how she worked 24 7, two shifts, but she wanted to buy a house. Mm-hmm. So here we proceeded to talk about how you can get your own. You only nobody give it to you. You know, a lot of. You know, people, maybe men or women, are looking for somebody else to be their, you know, supplier for everything, their sugar daddy, sugar mama. No. She was like, I'm doing this myself. I just want to be in a relationship with someone I can go out with who's loyal, loving, dependable, honest, faithful. So I said to myself, mm. <laughs> wait a minute. I said, you know what? I told young you know, you're enough as you are. And I thought, I said, now I'm going to speak about this. I said, but you know what? Who completes all that? A gay man. And just like, hey. I'm sorry, but tr- tr- I'm not saying you gay man. But truly, that's if you need a friend or somebody, a man to have on your arm, where there's no bullshit. Excuse my expression. It would be a gay man, your gay best friend. But gay men have drama with a straight man. Yeah, but they're not gonna have drama with you as a woman and and a man. Like if we hanging out, we going out. I, I have problems with all my girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Then, then, then they are problem in themselves because you know me and you don't roll like that. Yeah. We go out, we go out, it's okay. I need you to be honest with me. Oh, honey, what you wearing that? That's all the way. You're going to be honest with me. You're not my front. Right. You know what I'm saying? If we go out, we're going to have a good time. We're going to dance. I ain't got to go worry about going home with you and sleeping with you. If you buy me five drinks, I ain't got to give you shit. But you know my, but thank you. But my thing <laughs> about that, because I have a lot of girlfriends and um, you'll meet them at the party, but I find that some girls take gay men for granted, like, you know, they'll blow them off when they get a man, or they don't, 
because they get comfortable that there is no stress, that and they no kind of right, they kind of do some shady stuff that is not, I guess, what you would consider a friend. Well, then there's something wrong. There's something wrong. They don't appreciate you. I don't know what women you're speaking of, but right. for me, okay. I, that's a, a relationship I would cherish. Because there is a man that's, you know, loving me almost unconditionally. There for me, we go going shop, or we going to the theater, we're traveling, we can talk about everything. And I don't have to worry about him trying to sleep with my man. Well, do you not? Did y'all get that? That was a joke. I, 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 but, I mean, you don't think in a relationship of a woman, should she be looking for those things in a, a straight Yes, yeah, of course. Of course. But I'm saying that that's what I was just saying about the encounter I had today. Yeah. So I was like, you know, she felt she was confident, young woman, whatever. But, you know, you just wanted somebody you can hang with. You can feel comfortable with. You can be honest with. And all, a lot of times, you're not going to get that in a relationship. Because so, how are you going to find a relationship? So what do girl relationships look like then? Because you can do that with a girlfriend. Of course you can. But then sometimes that get can. Uh-uh. Why? Yeah, so that brings up a good point. Why do some women can't be friends? Because I, I see that. And I kind of... I kind of... I agree on the gay thing, but I kind of okay, like so think I, it's kind of like. I'm just gonna say mm, this. Really? I, I want to say this. This is the example she gave me. Okay. Uh, she had a friend who wasn't satisfied with herself and her image, and she kept telling her, you know, that's enough. You look beautiful. That's enough. Apparently, the person was well known on, you know, social media, and she kept saying, that's enough. You don't need no more ass. She don't need no more tip. And they didn't stop. Unfortunately, the person passed away from, you know, too much surgery. The repercussions of these surgeries. So I would say, you know, you know, sometimes when you're in a relationship with another woman, she don't hear you. She don't hear you. She goes, oh, B, you know, did you? Is it competition to be sometimes a woman? Sometimes it is. Okay. Sometimes. Well, it's a woman of a certain age. Okay, but by the time you reach a certain age, you, ain't, you don't have time to compete with each other. All you want to do is hang out with each other. Because <laughs> you need right. somebody to hang out with you. Go right. shop. You can go to the casino next day. You can go to all the church shows. You know, all that stuff. Sorry, you guys. Know. I live on a busy street. Oh yes, and, and they come in to get Connie. <laughs> no, but I knew they were gonna find that, it. I knew they were it. looking for her. I knew <laughs> it. No, but, but seriously, I think that you know, sometimes you reach a certain age, you, you can't be more friendly with each other because you know age equivalent to the fact that you need a friend. Yeah, but you we go to war with, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but you know, we even talked about that. We have an episode where being over 50 and making friends. I mean, yeah, but that's kind of hard. Right now, that, that is a hard thing. Because it is when hard. You, when you reach a certain age as well, you get set in your way. So it's hard to have a friend. Because she says she want to go over here and I don't want to go. It's a problem. What happens is that, you know what, she'll go alone and I go about my business. Well, see, you know the thing that I also found? That I want to go to a gay bar and a straight girl wants to go to a straight bar and I don't want to go to a straight bar. What, I'm with a girl. Well, like, you know, if, if it's my gay friend, I want to go to a gay bar. Okay, we'll see that. So <laughs> That's that, me. So in <laughs> essence, what we're saying is you need to find the right gay guy that is well, compliments Well, the right you. gay uh, girlfriend. The girlfriend that compliments you. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a gay guy. Well, I, right. I, I mean, I'm not saying no names, but I have some, I know some gay male men that have a slew of women. Oh, I have a slew of them. But slew, I mean, he, the cute ones has a cute girl, because usually I find that when I have a straight girl, the guys want, the gay guys always want to hit up on you because they like, I don't know, it's something it's about the they that they, boobs, when they're boobs, boobs out, boobs, and then all the gay guys love boobs, I don't know why. And that and makes my, them almost question <laughs> their <laughs> Right, I mean, you Oh, know, maybe I'm not gay no more. Well, well, I don't know, I've had my girlfriends, they put on their Victoria's Secret and pump up, and all the guys are buying drinks, and they're like, oh, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's my girlfriend, but see, I only hang out with pretty girls. <laughs> and what you trying to say? Yes, exactly. Fun girls. Okay. So anyway, everybody, we want to I'm say here. thank you again for tuning in to another thank episode you. of Sip on This C and C, Connie and Corey. I am so happy that we are doing very well. Thank you for tuning in and writing in. Um, you can email us at sip on this TV at gmail.com. Um, and remember to live. Colorfully. And I want to say happy birthday oh, again to Corey. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs>